Welcome to my bed. Hi, Zeddy. Hi, Bibby. Well, today's video is going to be very different from what I normally do. So I'm just want to try making new videos and see what happens. And I don't know. It's fun. I like making videos. But uh, today is not like a tutorial or anything. Um, it's more just for fun. So I'm not really trying to say I know anything. But, if you guys followed me on Instagram, you saw that I made a mattress out of an um, old futon that was donated uh, that fits my van. So I basically cut it apart and sewed it back together and made it, um, and made it, what's the word? I swear, English is my first language. Um, I don't know, I made it come apart so you can <laughs> set up a table and everything. But... Uh, but I wanted to make mattress covers for it, and so it looked nice, and it didn't look all blotchy and different colors and such. But before I did that, I wanted to make sure if the mattress was actually comfortable. So I used the van uh, twice. I went to Kairi Lakes and Poor Nights, and it was wonderful. And the mattress was wonderful. I slept the best I've slept ever in this van. So now, this week, before I go back on the road officially... I'm going to make covers for it, and I have this fabric that I got at the thrift store. So, yeah, I actually don't know how to sew. I taught myself, kind of, and it's probably still not good, so I just thought it would be fun to make a video of me sewing covers for a mattress. So, yeah, I am um, sorry. Enjoy. I This is the best I can do for you. I actually have other videos I need to edit, but... Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I think it would be kind of fun because I actually regret didn't making a video for putting this together because it was a nightmare and it actually would have been entertaining. So I'm just going to try this out and see what happens, see if anybody likes it. But this is my life and this is what you get to see. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and it's not a tutorial. So you're not going to learn anything and you're just going to watch me still. So this is my workstation, it is the living room slash kitchen, and somehow I need to make a mattress cover. I didn't do any research or anything so I'm just going to wing it, I'm going to do with everything, and then just hope for the best. I actually think I'm going to start with the hardest part first, with this is like this weird L shape that's like Tetris. Not really sure how to do this, but rather get the hard part done first. Yeah. I've officially gone full grandma status. I have the sewing bag now. I should actually measure it out like a real person. Oh, screw it. Oh no. Yeah, we're just going for it. Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have lined it up with the floor. Oh 
Is it too small? That's all the fabric I have. Really? What the fuck? I thought there was much more. Oh shit. It doesn't even make one cover. Oh no. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Okay, I learned a problem. We should probably measure things out. Probably rule number one of sewing. We don't have enough fabric for the first one. It doesn't even make the first L. But we have to get more fabric and try again. Maybe it will be multicolored. I don't know. But yeah. Day one. <laughs> One, two, six choices to choose. Up, oh, seven. This is the same this style one, of yeah, fabric. This one is the same style. Do you like it, Zesty? <laughs> I don't know why you put up on me. <laughs> All right, so round two. We have more fabric that we got from the op shop. And now I will be um so okay, let's see. This is what's happening. How do I put this around? I can't while I'm recording. The orange fabric will go on these ones here, and those will end up being like the cushions when the table's out are back up against. So it might actually work. It just wasn't what I planned. I kind of wanted, obviously, all the same color. Hi, Zeddy. Um, but yeah, we'll try to make it work and see what happens. And fun fact, I don't have a sewing machine like normal people because I am living on the road. So this is going to take a few days of me sewing by hand. So let's get to it. 30 minutes later, I have my first little side done. It'll take a while. I did it. It's not perfect, but I might go back and retighten this part. What? <laughs> Look at that. I have a corner. Really? I have a corner. This is the part I'm really not looking forward to. This mess. Like, how does that even. How does that work? I'm not even sure. Well, it's now 8 o'clock, and I've gotten this side done, these two corners, this whole side here, and then half of a side over here. I'm going to keep going. I have some motivation. We'll see how this goes. Guys, look. It's day number three. Oh, it's finished! The L is done! I'm so proud of myself. Especially this corner. It's like my best corner I sewed. Sewed? Sewed? Have sewn. I don't know. English. Once again. 
But it looks so beautiful. I'm very happy. This corner here is kind of a little messed up because I made this piece here not long enough. So it's a little funky. But hey, the other cushions will be here, here. So you won't even tell. I am so proud of myself. So, so proud of myself that I was able to do it. it took longer than I expected. I, for some reason, I had it in my head. I was only going to get done it in like a day and a half. But then we had a Christmas party yesterday and everything. Like, I'm still in my Christmas party clothes. I haven't showered, so I'm going to celebrate by showering. And take the rest of the night to myself because I've been sewing all day. And then I'll start again tomorrow on the other two pieces because we'll be on the road in two days. So I have a lot to do, but I'm very, very, very proud. It's so beautiful. Okay. I'm sewing the covers for the cushions. And I just did something really, really stupid. So, I was cutting this little edge here because underneath when you fold it down, it gets all crumpled and it doesn't look nice. But I also cut the cover that's supposed to cover this side here that I literally just took the time to sew properly. So, I just wasted a bunch of time. It's really, really, really great. So mad at myself. <laughs> so, it's day number six. It has to be the last day that I do this because tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow we're leaving. So we'll be off on the road again. And for you, those of you that actually don't know me and Stop, or still watching this video for whatever reason. I am in um, Tiari, New Zealand. And the reason I'm here in this cabin instead of traveling in my van right now is because I got a job in the area. And with the job, we got offered um, the cabin as like part of the, a little bit of the pay. It wasn't that expensive, it was actually a really good deal. And for me, anything that's like a house and gives me a little bit more privacy is perfect because we did stay in a backpackers for the first almost month I think and um Zesty just gets stressed out when there's too many new people coming in and out of the house so this was perfect so he loves it here I love it here he runs around chase the bunnies um I don't really have to worry about him so which is really nice and yeah, so we just took advantage of having our own private area and started upgrading the van because it just needed some love before we got back on the road. Um, I waited till last minute to do these, of course. Um, but yeah, that's why we're here and instead of not living in the van, eventually I will do a van tour video for you guys and you can see all the upgrades and see my place that I call home normally. I love her. But I just wanted to enjoy my last day since I'm stuck sewing outside, enjoying this beautiful view on this little cabin. So it might be the last time I get something in New Zealand that's so private without being in a backpackers or anything and for, for such a good deal. Like, I mean, I can get another place that's just as nice, but it'll be really expensive. So I'm just going to enjoy my last day here outside with a good view before I have to leave tomorrow. And hopefully by the next scene, you'll see this all finished. So day number seven, I officially finished two o'clock this morning. Um, but look, the results, it's so beautiful. So it actually worked out that the two different colors, because, I don't know, it looks like a proper couch with pillows and stuff. 
really oversized pillows, but it works. So this is how the van will look when the table is up and I don't know, you want to eat or do whatever or just sit there and try to be cute. But yeah, this is van. All cleaned up and it looks so good. My hard work paid off. I mean, if you zoom in closely, like the corners aren't perfect, but I tried my hardest and it looks, I don't know, much better than it when it was. I really, really love it. And now, um, I guess I'll put it into bed form because today is moving day and show you guys what it looks like. Ta-da! Into bed form. Zesty, we're ready to go. The house is all packed up and we're ready to go on the road. Oh, it's so clean. I'm really going to miss this place. You ready, Zesty, for a new adventure? Let's go. Come on.